it is day two of um, the baby Angoras being born. They are, um, this is their first morning. They, um, they're in there. It's sort of hard to see. So I'm going to just do my checking up on them and make sure they're full. Oh, this guy, look at him. He is so full. Just going to make sure they're all full and sort of snuggle him a little bit. Oh, that guy. See, he's sort of runty. He's not, he's not ever going to be, he isn't too full. See, sort of. So sort of shrunken. All right, two, three. Oh, look at that belly! Look at that belly! It's huge. Three, four. That's nice and full. In case you're wondering, baby, um, baby bunnies. All baby bunnies are born blind and deaf. Oh, look at that belly! Oh my goodness, it's so full. All right, I lost count. Never mind. Okay. Um. Yeah, he's pretty full. And then this sweet guy. Yeah, he's he's sort of not as full as I would hope. So I just have them on this thing so I don't, you know, accidentally count one twice or something. So most of them are full except for two. So, um they're the two that aren't completely full are both a little tiny bit full, so they're probably just going to be a little bit smaller than their siblings. I'm going to leave them, I think I'm going to leave them um, in this, I think I'm going to leave them in this, like I'm not going to foster anyone or anything, I think they'll do just fine in my, but my battery's running out, so um, yep, yeah, they're doing good. This is day two. See you in day three. Bye. Good morning. Today is um, day three of ch um, daily checking on the baby angoras. I apologize because it is sl slightly sprinkling and um, our metal barn roof is makes it sort of loud. So we're gonna have to hurry and do this before it starts um, raining harder. Okay. So let's see. Oh, look at him. So full. I just love seeing full baby bunnies. So this guy is super cute. He has a little pink on his nose. And there's like a tiny hint of like pink on his head. Like a tiny tiny hint. If you look closely at his at his paws, there's like pink at the tips of his paws. So I'm excited to see what he look like what he'll look like when he gets bigger. Oh look at that belly. And then there's no poop or anything covering his bum or anything, so that's good. All right, this bunny, doing pretty good. That's one. Let's see, I really want this runt to be fed. At least a little bit, okay. Here's another bunny. So this guy has, here, let me see. Let people see. All right, this bunny has pink on his nose and then sort of a stripe up his head. That's really cute. And then his paws also have just a little bit of pink at the tips of those. So he is less full than everyone else, but his belly sort of looks pink, so I wonder if he'll have a white belly, or at least a gray belly, or it could just stay black. So, it's number two. Okay. Oh, number three. Oh, this guy's a little bit tangled. Let's untangle his poor thing. Here we go. We don't want that to stay on. He might choke or something. So, another white nose with a really bold white stripe there. That's really pretty. So, and then, let's see, his paws, they look pretty black. Oh, I'm really excited to see what these bunnies will look like when they get bigger. And then his belly is white and he's nice and full, no poop on his bum or anything. Number three. Alright. Um, hmm. Here is a little pink one. She looks, or he, looks sort of more brownish. Like, Charity's color. Like, looks less pink and more, like, brown. So that's good. Um, again, very full. And no b poop on the bum or anything. That's good. I'll, and this is their umbilical cord thing, so that's what that is, if, everyone, if anyone was wondering. Alright, so that's four. Here is five. Oh, this is a little runt. Okay, um, so 
it looks like a tiny, tiny, tiny bit fed, which is good, and it's still alive, so maybe, maybe, I don't know, I think, I feel like if it, it, if it wasn't fed at all, it would, um, pass away, but I guess it's getting fed a tiny bit every time because it's been alive for, like, two whole days, um, so far, so we'll see, hopefully still alive, though, and then nothing on his bum, so that's good. Five, six. Okay, this one is a little less fed. Sometimes if you come out like right before evening feeding, like before dinner or something, they usually look like this. So not very bulgy, but still a tiny, tiny bit like that. So that's good. Oh, this guy has like a tiny bit on his head and then his nose. Two. And six. Oh my goodness, this. Look how huge this bunny is! She's so full! Okay, that's beautiful. And then flip it over. And oh my god, just look at that belly! It's huge! Okay. So, there we go. All seven bunnies. They're all mostly doing really good. Probably. Alright, so. Let's put them back in and count as we go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, there we go. Then I'm sort of going to break up some of these like big strands, like how they're all stringy. So I'm going to break it up so they're smaller, so that they don't get tangled as much. And then cover them up with this. And... Oh, rain's starting to pick up a little bit. Okay, cover them up with this as well. Um, let's get, there we go. So, that's pretty good. All right, I'm gonna put them back in um, their cage and we'll check on them tomorrow. All right, it is day four of checking on the BB bunnies. It is Wednesday and they are three days old. Let's see if they're oh they are. Oh okay. I just love their like there's their little bit of fur coming in. If you can see it's sort of like very faint, but like there's a little bit of fur. So cute. And then belly and their bum is clean and their belly there's a little umbilical cord. And all baby bunnies have little nipples on them. Depend need, um doesn't matter if they're a girl or a boy, so sadly that's not one way to tell their gender. I usually wait to tell their gender when they're about four weeks old because that's when you can sort of start to tell for sure. Okay, so this guy's pretty good. Or girl. Oh, tiny one. Oh, I'm so sad for this little one. I don't want it to die, but it just might. Maybe I'll try, like, his head is as big as his body, almost. Maybe I'll try bottle feeding it. I don't know. Maybe I will bottle feed it today. I know how. Oh, there's a little bit of poop on me. Let's see. Looks like he's pooping, which is good. That means he's been eating. Oh, I don't know how to, what to do. Maybe I will bottle feed him. I mean, he's three days old, so maybe he's... Ending his claws. Wait, this isn't. Oh, um, this isn't poop. He just has a scab on his tail, or something. I don't know what that is. Maybe I should bottle feed him because he's um the first one to three days. I think it is. Um, the baby bunnies use um need colostrum from their mom, which is like a special type of milk. Um, but then after that, they're fine with just regular milk from the mom. So. If you use cat milk replacement, then it usually is pretty good. So maybe I'll just fill him up once and we'll see how he goes. Okay. That's number two. But every other bunny in this litter makes me so happy. Look how cute. Oh, I'm just so excited. And you can see, you can see his fur. It's so beautiful. Here, the camera's not going to focus. Come on, camera. Oh, well. And then, oh, she's so pretty. And they're so soft, too. Oh, don't, don't 
forget. Oh, oh, okay. There we go. Your belly's full. Good job. And then you. Oh my goodness! Look at that belly. Look at that belly. That is huge. And you can even see the little milk um, stomach thing. Oh, so cute. I'm so excited to see what the colors are going to be. I'm thinking all these lighter ones are going to be the same color as their mom. But I have no idea really. So we'll have to see. Because I've only had, so um, Charity has had two other litters besides this one. And she killed them both times. One time they were like five days old and I was bottle feeding them. But they didn't have colostrum so they died. And one time she just, they all froze. Or were nibbled on so. Yep, this guy is sort of most not really full, but he's still doing good. See, his belly is like a little bit. And then that's one, two, three, four, five. Two more. Okay, hello. You are super fat. Look at you. Look at him. And his bum is clean. Sometimes if um boot builds up on their bum off a lot, and it sort of blocks them from pooping, so that's sort of bad. But their mom usually cleans them up whenever she feeds them. But just, I like to make sure that none of that happens. Oh my goodness, he is so huge. Like, look at the difference. Here's a fed one, and here's a not fed one. They're the same age. On the same hand. That is, here, let me see. Let me see. That is like a huge difference. This bunny's going to be tiny. Compared to his siblings. Oh, I just hope this little tiny one survives. Alright, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and little seven. Then after I finish all my other chores, if I still decide to bottle feed that one, I will um, let you know. So, there we go. So, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, I believe it is day six of um, Baby Bunny daily checking up on, and they are five days old. At least, I, according to my calculations. Um, so, I could be remembering wrong, though. But So, again, very full. Makes me very happy. And just the usual stuff. Back on him. Look at that belly though. Oh, it just makes me so happy. Oh, so happy. Oh, so happy, huh? Oh, pet your belly. Oh, yeah. Pet your back. If you look, they're five days old, so they're starting to get their fur. And it's really cool. It's really hard to see on the camera though, but like, you can sort of see that. It's really pretty. I like these bunnies. They're really cool colors. And then. Let's see, what about you? Come here, you. Ah, uh, the little nose. I just love, oh, I just, I just love that. It's so, so cute. You guys are, like, seeing it, like, 20 times by now, probably, but I just love them. Two, three, and then you can, you know, get them out and then pet them and then set them down, or you can, like, count them really fast. Three, four, and then when you're putting that them back in, play with them and stuff. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So this is interesting. This one is not fed as much as this one. Look at the difference. They're the same rabbit. Same, they're siblings, but they're like different. So this one, now you see how he's so big. This one, he's still full, but he's smaller. Like he's been so if he's now the new runt since little runt died. So that them, they're so cute. And this one has like a little white patch on his forehead. And this one has like a little little white line on the forehead. Like just like a little line. It's so cute. And they're so big. Okay. And we're gonna pet them. Put them back in the nest box. And especially with Angoras, this will help them um be nice to people and like to be pet and brushed and all that stuff. Like, if you never handle them in there, you know, and then all of a sudden you're like, oh, I have to groom you, and you're, like, doing all that stuff, then it'll be sort of, sort of hard to teach them to be nice to people and to 
you know, staying still, being groomed and all that stuff if you don't handle them when they're little, so. And plus, it's just fun to hold baby bunnies and to see them grow. I mean, for you, it's, like, almost instant. It's like you're watching them every day, but, like, for me, it's, like, more spread out. This one, and then these two, and my battery's dying. Goodbye. Today is day seven of checking on the baby bunnies, and they are six days old. Okay, oh look, they're so full. Shouldn't be a surprise to me now, though. One. Three, four, five, and six. Okay, and that is everyone. So, here are the babies. This one looks like, hmm. Is that some brown on his head? I can't tell. It's probably not, but that's that's cool. All right, so and then you just pet him, flip him over, pet him some more, flip him back over, pet him, then just put him back like usual. No, no, no. There we go. There we go. I want to get a really good shot of holding them. There we go. And then flip them over. And hold them again. Three. Oh, look at that little face. Isn't that so cute? These last two. Five. And six. And then tomorrow I'm going to um, change their nesting out and they'll be opening their eyes soon. So, yeah. Okay, it is day eight of checking on the baby bunnies and they are now officially one week old. So. <laughs> I've decided that in my rabbitry, one week is the time that I change out their nest box. So all this hay and fur gets thrown out and I replace it with new, fresh, clean bedding so that whenever they open their eyes in a few days, or maybe like tomorrow, I don't know. Every litter seems different. Like Rosie's babies, all of them open their eyes at like eight days, whereas some other rabbits I've had in the past open them at like ten days, so I don't know. Um, how these ones are going to go, but I'm just going to play it safe because I'd rather have it little, clean the bedding out a little too early than have them open their eyes in this dirty bedding and risk getting an infection because I just didn't want to do it. So, <clears throat> I'm going to count them and then put them in the, put them in here and then clean out the nest box. So, hello, hello, oh look at that. He's so big and so cute. Pet his belly. One. Two. If you can tell, this little guy I think has like a tiny bit of brown on his head. And look at that little eyebrow marking. Isn't that so cute? What? Don't do that. I'm so excited to see what they're gonna look like when they get older. I'm so excited to see what they're gonna look like color-wise when they get older. Three, four. So this one's a little lighter, and that one's a little darker. That other orangey one. Four. 
See, there, this is a little gummed up, so I'm just gonna take that away. Yeah, so, yeah. Oh, don't fall. No, no, no. Four. Five. And six. These guys seem to like to try to get out, so I'm going to cover them up and then cover them with another blanket towel thing to hopefully prevent them from crawling out. Baby bunny pie, let's put this in the oven. This is like an oven pan thing. Actually, you probably could do that. Like, it'd be funny, but we're not going to cook these babies. No, we're not going to do that. Anyways, that's what it looks like, a little baby bunny pie. So, back to this thing. I'm just gonna, so, Angoras um, have a lot of fur and it gets everywhere, so I'm gonna clean up. Oh, fall, oh, fall. There we go. Clean up the top. Clean up the sides. And then take all of this out. And then I'm going to dump all of this out. And then I'll come back. Okay, so I have um, dumped all of the stuff out. And I rinsed it out with the um, spigot and the hose and stuff. So I'm going to fill it with fresh bedding. I'm not going to use any hay or fur. I'm just going to use shavings because these babies um, already have a lot of fur. Like when they're first born they don't have any fur so they need like extra stuff to keep them warm but now they have fur and it's been pretty warm outside for a long time so I don't think it's going to get like really cold. But if it is I might come and like give them stuff so there's their new nest and we'll just put them back in. And none of my does have ever had a problem, you know, with a new nest. Like, it smells new and it's all clean and new, but they always continue to nurse their babies and all that. Oh, let's make a little... I think they like it whenever they have a little, like, a little nest, like, depression back there. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that is it for um, the baby bunny daily checkups um, from when they were born to when they were one week old. I will continue to do daily bunny checkups. Um, I'm going to do another video. It's going to be um, one week old to two weeks old. And in that, um, in that video, they're going to be opening their eyes and crawling around. Well, two weeks old, and they could even be out of the nest box and in their cage with the mama. Um, in that one, I don't know, we'll see how it goes, but, so they're gonna do, I'm, they've done a lot of growing in this one, but then they're gonna do even more growing in the next one, and in a lot of ways, especially, it's, it's just so fun to see the little eyes opening and all that, so, um, thank you for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it, I know I enjoyed making it, um, I hope that you learned something, or, um, just the experience of seeing baby bunnies grow. I know when I first had rabbits and I didn't, like, it was my first litter, I was really wanting to see, you know, what they would look like and what I had to do, and I was sort of worried I'd do it wrong, so I'm sort of making these in the hopes that I can help someone else who's um, had those same worries and not just say what I do and just make sure. Yeah. And just make sure that the bunnies have a good life and... So, thank you again for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.